Hey guys, it's Jen from My Create Crafts. In today's video, I'll be showing you step by step how to create your own Valentine tic tac toe bag set using your Cricut machine. These are so cute and couldn't be simpler to make. Now let's get started. guys, I am so excited to keep continuing my venture of creating Valentine's crafts. If you're new to my channel, go back and you will see tons of Valentine's crafts that I have created already. So today we're going to be working on these tic-tac-toe bags. So the first thing I'm going to do is go over here to the left side and click on shapes and click on square. And the reason I'm doing this is just to visualize what the bag will look like. You do not have to do this, but I like to visualize it to see what it's actually going to look like. So my bags I purchased from Amazon. I got 25 of them for about $10.99, which comes out to $2.27. I'll leave the link below in case you're interested in these bags. They are burlap and they're really nice and heavy duty. It's got strings at the top so you can pull it shut so you won't lose any of the tic-tac-toe pieces. So my bag is actually a 3.7 by 5.3 so I'm going to take this and I'm going to unlock it up here and I'm going to change it to be 3.7 by 5.3. And this, again, is just the size of my bag. So I know at the top here, there's like a drawstring here. So I'm going to make sure I don't use that part here. So I'm just going to visualize it here. So for the next part, you need to make the tic-tac-toe part. So you can do that one of two ways. You can find something on Google or you can make your own. I'm going to opt out and actually go ahead and make my own. So I'm going to shrink my screen a little bit here and then go to Google. And I'm just going to type in tic-tac-toe. And it's going to bring up a bunch of images. So what I like to do actually is I like to go to images and it kind of downsizes and shows you just the images. But I like to go a step further and actually type in SVG. And then that will bring your search a little bit farther down so you don't have to search through all these. You can purchase these. They have them in like design bundles or they have them on Etsy. But I'm just going to show you how you can easily make your own. So you need to watch out when you're going to take an image from somewhere where it doesn't say in stock or it doesn't have a watermark behind it. Just something plain like this one. So I'm going to use this one here. I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to do save image as and I'm going to type it as tic-tac-toe. And I'm going to do three because I've made a couple of these already. So you can see I'm in Firefox. It brings it up here for me. So I'm just going to bring this down for a second. Go back in Design Space. Click on the Upload button here. Click on the Upload Image. Grab my image from over here and drag it into Design Space. So now I'm done with this one. I'm going to click on Simple. And I'm going to Continue. And I'm going to make this screen larger for everybody. So here, whoops, pushed the wrong button. So here it is. So now it's just asking me to select uh, all the white spots, to fill in all the white spots. So I did that. So now I'm going to click continue, and here it is. You want to save it as save and cut, not a print then cut, because we're not printing it, we're cutting it. So I selected this one. I'm going to click save. So here it is. Like I said, I already did one before. So here is one already here. So I'm going to select that one, and here it is. So again, I like to visualize things. So you can make this as big as small or as small as you want. I'm just going to take it and enlarge it pretty much as big as I can that I have enough room at the top for the drawstrings and then I have enough room at the bottom here. Now I've made these in the past and you can put the name tic-tac-toe here, you can put somebody's name here, you can kind of design it any way you want. So I think I'm going to actually do a couple different ones. So I have this selected. I'm going to actually select both of these go up and hit this duplicate button here and that'll duplicate my image so this one I think I'm just gonna make it as large as I can so I'm gonna unlock it here and make it a little bit larger and I'm trying to get equal on all sides so that it won't touch so obviously when you cut this out you have to visualize it on your bag but I'm trying to get it as big as I possibly can without it overlapping on the side and with without touching the strings at the top here. So with this one, I'm finished. I'm gonna leave this one the way it is for now. Now we're gonna work with this one. So like I said, you can add tic-tac-toe to the top, you can add a name to the top, you can personalize it any way you want. So I'm actually gonna write tic-tac-toe. So I'm gonna go to the text box here and I'm gonna write tic-tac-toe. 
So here it is. So it's pretty plain, pretty blah, right? So let's change the font. So I have it selected. I'm going to go up to the font box up here and I'm actually going to go to system and I'm going to type in chasing hearts. And here's the font I'm going to be using. And the reason I went into system is because I actually downloaded this font from defont.com. If you don't know how to do that, I have a video on that a few videos back that show you how to take a font from defont, download it and add it into design space. It's so easy. So here's this one. I love this one because it has a little heart on it. So it's kind of like, you know, Valentine's Day, but I'm not too keen that it's so close together with each other. So I'm actually going to go to the ungroup button up here and I'm going to move these apart. So I'm going to select these three and then just move it a little bit and then do these last, oops, do these last three and move those over. And I'm going to put a little heart in between each one of these. So I'm going to go to the shapes and I'm going to select a heart and I'm going to just put it down to size so it could fit in between there. So there, just like that. You don't have to do this. It's just kind of an extra thing. So I want the same exact heart. So I'm going to go up to duplicate and I'm going to have the same heart right here. Doesn't that, isn't that cute? And that does not look so much better. So I'm going to want to change the color of my heart. So I'm going to have it selected, go up to the color box, change it to the red, do the same with the other heart, grab it, change it to the red. So there, I love how this looks. Now the last thing you need to do is resize it. So I'm selecting all of it here and I'm just going to resize it just right now, just a little bit before we move it up here. And remember, you have that little tassel part at the top here. So you got to be careful that you're going to do it down far enough that you have enough room up here. Obviously, we're just looking at it right now just to visualize what it looks like but you don't want to um, go over that part. So I can move this and we can see what this looks like. So on my last video, I did a video tutorial on how to make Valentine's Day hand towels. And one of them, I used a gnome. And some people are asking me, well, how did you get all your colors together in one, in one mat? So I did a video tutorial on that yesterday. So go back and check that out if you want. But I'm gonna do the same thing here. So I'm gonna go ahead and select this. And I'm going to have to go in and select each one of these because when I ungrouped it, it ungrouped all of them. So for the meantime, I'm going to get these guys out of here. I'm going to select all this part and I'm going to push weld. That means it's going to cut out as you see it. So when I go to make it, it'll cut it out just like this instead of cutting out each piece individually. So we can go ahead and bring our hearts back. Doesn't really matter where you put your hearts because they're going to cut out separate anyway. So just to, more to visualize it. So the front of this is back. I want to do something on the back of this now. So here is where you can add somebody's name to it. You can put their name here. You can put a heart. You can do whatever you want. So I think I'm just going to do a heart. So I'm going to go back to shapes and grab another heart. And I'm just going to see how big it is in here. Well, it's not too bad. So I'm just going to drag it. Just make just a little bit smaller. Perfect. So again, you don't have to align anything on here. You just want to change your color to whatever. So I'm going to do it the same color as those hearts there. So it's selected. I'm going to go up to the color box and change it to red. So this one is finished. So this is the front and then this is the back. And I'm going to show you one more step. So we're going to get rid of this. I'm going to duplicate this guy because I want to put a name in it. So I'm going to be doing um, one for one of my daughter's friends. So I'm going to go ahead and put her name in it. So it's text here and I'm gonna type in ember and here it is and you still have the chasing hearts because that's the last font you used so I'm actually gonna put that in here and just resize it a little bit so it will fit almost in the middle part here and then I'm gonna select both of them I'm gonna go up to uh, align and I'm gonna center it and that just put everything in the center so with both of it selected the ember the name ember and the heart I'm gonna go down to slice and the reason I did that is because now we can get rid of this and we have the heart here with the name already cut out of it. So when you go to cut this, you don't have to take out or you don't have to put the words on unless you wanted a different color than the heart. But I like this, how it just cuts it out. So you could definitely put the name on here and then, you know, fuse it with your HTV and then put the name on it. But I like it when it's cut out like this already. So I'm going to leave this the way it is. So I'm actually going to take this and duplicate this. So now I have two of them. 
So I have one like this and then one like this. So it is that simple. So the last thing I need to do, since I know all the sizes are correct, I'm gonna get rid of this, get rid of that, and also get rid of that. All right, so now that we're finished with this, the last part you have to do is make your X's and O's. So I'm gonna go to the text box and I'm gonna type an X. And then I'm gonna do another one and I'm gonna type an O. And the reason I didn't do them together was because I actually want to make them different colors. So I'll make one red and then one will be like either black or maybe even white. So again, it's the Chasing Hearts, which I really like the font for. So I'm actually going to select this one and then change this to a 0.5 by 0.5. I think this size will work really well for the hearts that I purchased from the dollar store. So I'm going to do the same thing thing for the O. So I'm going to un unlock it up here 0.5 by 0.5. So now I'm going to change the color really quick. So I think the O I'm actually going to change to, and I'll just do red for now just because it'll cut out all red and black for me. So now you're going to want, it, and it depends how many you want. I think it says that you should make five of each, but I make like six or seven just in case, you know, if you give this to a kid, they're going to lose the pieces. So I just make like seven pieces. So I'm going to select both of them. I'm going to go up to the duplicate button and I'm going to hit it six more times. So I have seven of them here that are going to cut out for me. So the last thing I need to do is just go to make it. And then it's going to show you your pieces on the side here. So as you can see, this whole piece is attached because, you know, like I said, we welded it together. Instead of having the tick, the tack, and the toe all different, it's just going to cut out as one whole piece. So now I'm going to go up here and grab one of the X's and bring it down. I like to leave myself a little bit of space in between each one of them that I can just get my scissors in between each. Or you could just leave it on and take your, uh, you know, your weeder and then pull it off that way. So either way, but I always just like to leave a little bit of space in between. And then before I go to the next one, I'm actually going to click the mirror button because we are working with HTV, the heat transfer vinyl. And you always want to make sure you mirror your image. All right, guys, so I made a mistake and I was going to cut this out and um, I figured instead of me doing it, I wanted to show you my mistake. So as you all know, I was going to cut all of this out on HTV. Well, these little X's and O's are not going to be HTV, but everything else is. So I'm actually going to change the color of both of these to white. So I'm just going to select them both, go up to this little um, question mark and change it to white so that when I go to cut it out, Okay, that's weird. They're still there, but they went away from me. Not sure why, but they're still there. <laughs> so I just wanted to show you that really quick. So now I'm going to go to make it and do the same thing that I just did. And I'm actually going to leave these close together like this because now I can just pull it up with my weeder. But this one, you're not going to want to mirror it. So I'm going to want to go back in here, move this over just a tad bit, and then hit the mirror button. And then the, do the same thing with these. Just move it over just a tad bit just so that I can get my scissors in between and uh, change this one to be mirrored as well. But I wanted to make sure that you guys did it correctly and not just follow me and make the mistake that I almost did. So this first one is going to be regular vinyl and I'm actually gonna be cutting out just on red and or pink and white. So I'm not even gonna worry about changing these um, because this is going to be the pink color and then this will be white. But I don't want it the same as this because this is going to be regular vinyl and then these are going to be the uh, HTV so that one's mirrored and that one's mirrored so I'm gonna go ahead and cut this out and then I'll show you the next step but I just wanted to make sure that you guys don't make the mistake that I almost did so now I'm gonna go ahead and cut this out I'll weed them out and then I'll show you the next step so I am done weeding my project out it turned out really cute so here's the first one the tic-tac-toe here are the little heart pieces that go with it and then also the back part of the hearts as well I love how this turned out. I just bought this HTV from Amazon. It is by far the best I have ever bought. I will leave the link below. I don't know offhand what it was called, but I just happened to buy it. It was on sale. It was so easy to weed. It was absolutely amazing. So if you're looking for new HTV, this would be a great place. I know people talk about other sites, but I buy a lot from Amazon because I get the free shipping and it comes like in two days. So this was absolutely amazing. I will show you. I did one already. So here's what it looks like. The tic-tac-toe has little hearts in between. Here's the little strings that I was talking about. 
that you have to watch out that you go down far enough for. And then here's also the heart on the back. And even if you have this heart down and you wanted to put somebody's name on here, you could most certainly go over it with like white or some color. Um, but I just love how this turned out. I did cut out this other one that says Ember. So this is the one that was sliced. So this name is empty here, but you could also just take a white or whatever color and go over the top of it. But I just wanted to show you a couple different options. And here are the bags um, that I was talking about as well. I love these bags. So one thing you have to watch out for is the um, pull tabs here, these little strings. So when you put it, like if you have a heat press, I just put it on the side right here. So I'm not touching, I'm not, I don't have it flat on here. So I'm not pressing these um, strings. I'm just doing it on the side. So if you see me kind of weird that I'm just doing it on the side here, that's how I'm doing it. You can most certainly do this with an easy press. If you guys know me, I hated the easy press. I got rid of it. Some may like it, some may hate it. I hate it. I had an iron and from doing the same thing as the easy press, you have to push it there. So the heat press does everything for you. So if you guys wanna invest in something, I would invest in one of these. I love it. I've had it for over a year now. I'll never go back. So not trying to sell you any and anything. I'm just telling you, I love it. I think it was like $175. I think it's up to $200 now, but I love it. So anyways, back to this. So I have this. It's all weeded out. I'm just going to lay it on here and kind of eyeball it to see where I want it to go. So that's what it's going to look like. But I'm just doing it on the side, like I said, so I don't touch the strings that are over here. And I'm just kind of eyeballing it to see that it's center. And then I'm going to take my Teflon paper, or you can use parchment paper too, and just press it. Oh, I'm sorry, I have it, my heat pressed it at 325 for 30 seconds and a lot of pressure because I'm working with these bags and these bags are burlap. And I don't know if you can see it, but you have little, I don't even know, divot, divots, dots. I don't know what you wanna call it, but you can see the lines through it, but that's okay because that's part of the burlap. So, and sometimes, and sometimes you can you want to stick something in between here so you can put like a piece of parchment paper or something just in case you're doing it and it gets stuck but i've never had a problem where my htv was sticking so now this is done but i've never had a problem where my htv stuck on either side or i wasn't able to get inside but there could be a possibility you might want to stick something in between which i don't so here it is it's all finished it's i'm just going to peel it off slowly to make sure everything's stuck which it did, get rid of that part. And then I'm gonna grab the heart, flip it over, and, whoops, when I drop it, I'll get rid of another one. Sorry guys, getting kind of putsy here. Here we go, grab another heart, kind of find the center piece of it on here, and hold it down just a little bit while it's still warm so it'll stay in, in the spot it's supposed to be in. Put it on the edge, and then take your Teflon paper, and put it over and then you just press it for the 30 seconds but it's so simple and then the next thing we have to do after this are these little hearts so i bought these hearts from the dollar store i have red ones and they have pink ones so that's where you're going to put your x's and o's on so i'll show that part next after this but i'm going to show you what this one looks like but it's as simple as this it took me what two minutes to do this not even to do the front in the back so the next part you gotta do is just do the little hearts after this. So again, this one is finished. I'm just gonna peel off the backing. Then I'm gonna take the little hearts on the front, which you don't have to do. And one thing I did kinda mess up on this a little bit, I'm always honest with you guys, is I like to always make these spaced, if you can see them, I spaced them out, but this time I didn't really space them except for here, so I cannot get my scissors in here enough to get enough of that um, plastic covering off. So I'm just taking it off with my finger. Could take a weeder if you wanted. Hold it really carefully and then put it right in between your tic-tac-toe. So kind of made a boo-boo on that one, but you know what? What do I always say, guys? I'm always honest with you. Kind of learn with me as I go, so I'm just peeling it up. And then I'm just placing it right in the middle there. And they are going to move on you, little suckers. <laughs> so you just got to make sure you place them in the right spot where you want them. 
But another thing I say is it's handmade, so it's never gonna be perfect. So because I screwed up on that, I'm gonna take an old piece of this um, protective covering that comes with it, and I'm just gonna place it on there and then turn it to the side again making sure it didn't move. And then press that for, whoops, I almost forgot my Teflon. And then press that for the 30 seconds. You could also take it and put it directly on here, which I think would be a lot easier. So you just wanna take your little heart and put it directly on here and that would be so much easier. But I just wanted to show you that I made the boo-boo and I forgot to do that. So when you're doing this, you can most certainly take this off of here and put it on here, but you cannot put two pieces of plastic together. Obviously that's not going to work. So I'm gonna take these hearts off of here, put it on here and save myself this trouble of doing it this again. So this one's done in two seconds. I'll show you what this looks like. So it's just the same thing. So I'm just taking my paper off of here slowly. And this one kind of got a little cockeyed on me. <laughs> so it's this way, but again, you know what? It's handmade, things are gonna happen. Kind of looks kind of neat that way that it's going that way. So this one is finished as well. Like I said, you can put a name on the back or kind of personalize it more. You could take the tic-tac-toe and you can put it on the back if you wanted. These things are endless, the ways you're gonna do it. So I'm gonna finish these up. I have a few more left to do, and then I'll show you the next step of putting those X's and O's on your little pieces. All right, so I'm finished making the bags. As you can see, they turned out really cute. Got the little heart on the back, and then you put the little pieces inside here. And I started doing some of the pieces where I wanted to show you. Here's the O's, and then here's the X's. When I went to go weed this with the regular font that I was using, it was so hard to do, so I actually went back and changed the font on here. I think this is Arial Bold. I wanted something that was really um, bold that could be easy to weed and pick out, and I, this was definitely a lot easier to weed, so I would not suggest using the font that you used for this if you choose to do that. So again, it's so easy to do. I just bought these little guys from the dollar store. So just grab your little hearts. And then you take your weeder and you take it off and then you can easily just put it on here in the middle. Just like that. So I'm gonna do one for an O. And I bought these little guys at the dollar store and some of them are not perfect. This one has like a big indent in it so you just wanna kinda of flip it to see which way is the best way. So I'm gonna put the O on here. And you just use your finger and push it down really hard. But that's it. And then you just take the pieces that you have. You want to put six pieces peach, pieces of each, six X's and six O's, and then you can put it in the bag so that they can play with it. And then it has the nice pull top at the top so you won't lose anything. So it all stays in. So that was easy and simple. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please leave me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And go back and check out my other Valentine's Day gifts that I have been creating. Happy crafting, everyone.